Hi, my name is Christian Bellis. My name is Christian Bellis. My name is Christian Bellis. My name is Christian. My name is Christian Bellis. My name is Christian Bellis. Hi, my name is Christian. Hi, my name is Christian Bellis. Hi, my name is Christian Bellis. Hi, my name is Christian J. Bellis. Hi, my name is Christian J. Bellis. Hi, my name is Christian J. Bellis. 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 My name is Christian J. Vellis. Rosalinda! Rosalinda! Buenos dias, Correntino. I see him a man from Gifford. You see the state of Gifford. For him, up there, charlando with the saints. Does he listen when Rosalinda says she wants to be educated? Um, does she, that she wants to go around the world? Does he lift her finger? Does he put a good word for us? No, ni una palabra. Ya se sorte, condenado viejo. Guys, thank you for coming. Have a good night. That's funny, this handout spirit. They think we're happy. They really think that we are enjoying this. But they don't know how it is, Oscar. They don't know how it's really like. Get drunk, get angry, throw the goddamn cup! What the hell is that thing, man? Nah, man, that thing's not right. Look how it moves. Follow orders, okay? It gets any closer, I'm taking it down. You were the closest thing I got. You showed me, you raised me. You showed me how to be a, a man, how to shave, how to save the world. I don't know how we'll do this without you, but damn. I love you, man. I really do. Security footage of what went down here between you two in the office. You wouldn't. That depends on you. See, I got a job back at my old camp, and I want to project an image of success when I go back. Now I can hardly afford to buy this clothes myself and this is how we can help each other out. I'll keep Samantha quiet and in return you'll let me come and peruse the racks here from time to time. You should have told me. I just found out. Benny promised the day I turned 16 he would take me down to Flushing Meadows, teach me how to drive. So my birthday morning I'm getting ready for my appointment, got my permit all filled out. So I told my dad I need my social security card for the DMV, and <laughs> he's like, yeah, you don't have one. That was how I found out. Happy birthday, right? Lo voy a decir yo entonces. Tiene la razón. Me he comportado no mal, pero de una manera que no es la adecuada para el grupo. No. Tampoco así. Yo canto. Yo bailo. Y también me pongo toda esa ropa que ustedes me mandan a poner, incluyendo la que brilla y la capieta. Hey, you two jerk offices. You better not be watching us out there. Come on, where are you guys? Hey, I have an ass back in the tent with my name on it, and I'm trying to get back to it. Would you just go find him, all right? Just go make sure he's not watching us. Casey is freaking out back there. Would you just go, please? Take care, Dr. Crandall. Take care in your speech. You best not speak too freely, sir. We're all witnesses of what you say. And we don't wish you to convict yourself. Have a seat, Private Color. As you well know, my job here is to keep you alive through BASIC. So the Military High Council can determine if you go to War College or not. And given what you've ranked up already, it's not looking too good for your unit. And I know you don't want to be here. And I know your mom just died. That is terrible. And I get that. And I get that you don't want the same thing to happen to you. But it's not just you. It's your behavior effects. 
It makes me look bad. And your unit takes a hit every single time you do this kind of thing. Does it matter to you that I am going mad? Not sure I can go and reflect on it. Not sure I can get through my own madness. Lately it has been getting harder and harder to stay balanced. Look where I am. Chemical imbalance, sure. Life experience, sure. Being an artist, sure. But it all adds up to a pair of scissors embedded in someone's neck, doesn't it? See you in the morning. Oh, I still need that image for the email blast invitation. Oh, right on, I'm on it. Good job today. Oh, Meg told us. Yeah, but then we suggested that we don't cancel it. And she agreed. She's a good boss, you know. Not that you weren't. It, it, it could work. Dana, Dana. Yes? Hi, how are you? What? How are you this evening? I'm good. Who are you? Petal. What? I'm Petal. Maple is my mom, your friend Maple. Oh, yeah, you're, you're Maple's daughter. Yeah, what's up? Is Maple here? We've come a calling for the ladies. We want to see the chickens. We need an egg, please. All right, let's go see if they laid. 30 bucks, take it or leave it. $30 egg? $30 egg? We're not paying no $30 for no egg. Come on, baby, don't do me like this. Do you, you really want us to go beg all your friends for money? If you want this perfectly speckled Valentina egg, you're going to give me $30. Go on. I'll be here, sitting on it, keeping it warm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I um, I want to sell your home. You've listed a farm before, right? Well, uh, well, not a farm per se. I but I have a familiarity with them. In what way? Well, I've I've been to them many times. You see, I try to rationalize it to myself without sounding like such a selfish prick because I want to give people what they want. Because I care. But at the same time, I'm not a people pleaser in the sense of, God, I hate how I'm sounding now. See, this is what I mean. I'm in constant conflict with myself, which is why I keep a low profile. And you know this already about me, but I can't stop living my life. If I want to go out and have a beer with a friend, I should be able to do so without worrying about being watched and followed. And it's why I'm wearing the stupid hoodies and hats. And it's because I have no damn privacy anymore. None. Okay, okay. We have one peppermint mocha. Here you go. One Santa's vanilla spice latte. One Christmas caramel macchiato and a regular coffee with nothing else in it. I don't know how you drink it like that, man. It's way bitter. The reindeer aren't here, but this town is full of spirit. Mm -hmm. Christmas is more than just a holiday in North Pole, Vermont. Yeah. It's the true American life. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. See, we're no longer interested in the American life. It's literally the name of the website. Yeah, well, we have a new mandate now. Since when? You know why I was brought in, Kendall? Because your father owns the company? To do CPR on a dinosaur. See, nobody wants to be reading this small town fireplace hot cocoa crap anymore. Respectfully, I've been reading American Life since it was a magazine. That dinosaur got me through some tough times. Well, I'm sorry high school was so hard for you. But if you want to stay in my staff, bring me clickbait. Hey, who wants pizza? It's Pizza Friday. What you working on there, Eve? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just head out. Okay. Um, so that's no on the pizza, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll just, I'll come back later. All right. Okay. Before I go, um, are we, are we still good for the uh, teams meeting at three? I mean, right. Okay, I'll, I'll check back on that later. See ya, Gavin. Are you all right? What happened? Are you shot? What? What happened? Where did he go? Repeat, we got a 10999. We got a 10999. Officer down. Repeat, officer down. Hey, 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 stop. Stop it right there. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. 
Come on. What is that? What you got on your hand? Put it on the ground slowly. Yeah? Come on. You got anything else on you? Nothing? Don't lie to me. What's in the bag, huh? What's in the bag? Come on. Oh, honey. It's not me who you should be afraid of. What do you mean? Who should we be afraid of? Back up. Or what? You'll shoot me? I said back the fuck up. Please, please help us understand. You will never understand, all right? If she wants to, she can control the whole mountain, all right? And that's all there is. What do you mean control the mountain? You can't leave, all right? So why don't you all just shut up? You're scared too, aren't you? Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm gonna miss this place. Well, at least you get to go home. Yes, to be with my wife and daughter. I thought... Well, I mean my ex-wife, yeah. Old habits, but yes, to be with my daughter. Philip Brown's office? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. J just one minute. It's Moose, about the two-flat apartment in the States. Her dad owns this hotel and she's still not happy. Tough life. Don't you have ice to deliver? Um, I think I'm just gonna go all natural today. Thanks, though. Good morning, Miss Belmont. Your usual breakfast. Actually, I'm in the mood for something a little different this morning. Oh, good morning, Miss Belmont. I'm Terry Carver from Guest Services. Your father has asked me to work as your personal assistant while you're here. Thank you. Look out, coming through. Hello? Now, I don't want to be disturbed while Tad and I are together. If I need anything, I'll text you. Of course. Of course. What time would you like dinner sent to your suite? Terry, I said do not disturb. Okay. I've called her cell phone half a dozen times and she hasn't answered. Miss <sighs> Belmont? Hello? It's me, Terry. She didn't sleep here last night. Are you sure? You think she made the bed? Miss Belmont made the bed? Not in this lifetime. Sierra, can't wait to take you away. Love, Tad. Sounds like they plan to go off someplace together. But where? Terry! Mr. Belmont, hello. You're back. I need to speak with Sierra. She's not answering her cell phone. Would you ask her to meet me in my office? I'm sorry, Mr. Belmont. I don't know where she is. What? I asked you to take care of her while she was here. Well, yes. You see, but she and Mr. Fairchild went out skiing the other day, and that was the last time I saw her. What do you mean by the other day? Are you telling me you haven't seen my daughter in four days? Well, no. See, I thought her and Mr. Fairchild were taking a little private time together, and she said not to bother her, and then I found this note. <sighs> okay, one more time. What exactly happened last night? Okay, so there I was, right? I was dancing with this woman. I don't remember her name or how she looked like. And then all of a sudden, she walked in. But it was like she was gliding instead of walking. Oh, so she can fly now? No, no, it's, you know, gliding. Like she was barely off the ground. Did she have an aura too? It, it was more like a force field. You know, I felt like I was looking at a Super Saiyan or something, and that's when I looked down and bam, there they were, glass shoes. Okay, all right, so I went up to her and I asked her to dance and she said yes. So there we were, you know, dancing, grooving, getting all up in one another. You know, I was out there sliding and spinning and lifting all over my head and everything like they're doing dances and stuff. And next thing you know, clock strikes midnight and she just runs off without any explanation and just leaving behind this glass slipper. I didn't even get her name. Dang, maybe it was past her bedtime or maybe it was like that thing when happens when you get all sweaty. I, I don't know what happened, but um, I need to find her. You need to stop dancing with women without getting their name first. Yeah. <laughs> 